welcome to the low mid budget watch report and as you can see i'm out in uh, mother nature and uh, yes this is the green watches part four so the green watch uh, this time is uh, from casio it's a g-shock and uh, yeah we're gonna get into that but first of all I have to say I I appreciate green watches and I appreciate mother nature too because um, yeah I got the high blood pressure so I have to walk in the woods as you say well let's get into the green watches part four so yeah this is the fourth episode of green watches and this is the G-Shock I'm going to unbox it is the limited edition Charles Darwin Foundation Galapagos G-Shock and uh, this is the hammer shark one and uh, yeah Galapagos is an island outside I think Ecuador maybe and uh, it's in the middle of nowhere it's out there in in the sea but uh, it's uh, I think it's uh, outside Ecuador and it's uh, it's uh, habitat for sharks and birds and other creatures turtles and a lot of creatures and um, the Charles Darwin Foundation is um, providing this place with um, protection and uh, research so I guess all of you all of you know Charles Darwin he's this this uh, famous zoologist and uh, uh, he's about uh, his take on the evolution process is very famous and uh, natural selection and so on and so on you learn all that in school but uh, so this Charles Darwin Foundation is about protecting the Galapago Island with uh, through uh, science and uh, cons conservation action, uh, as it says on their homepage. And uh, yeah, that's very nice. I don't know how much money you spend on this G-Shock actually goes to the foundation but uh, I totally support the uh, Charles Darwin Foundation preserving the Galapago Islands Galapagos Islands you see Galapago Galapagos or Galapago well uh, the box looks like this and it's made of paper I don't know if it's recycled paper, but I can only guess. And um, the box has the famous hammer shark. You can, I think, you can choose. Uh, you can choose the parrot one or uh, turtle one, but I have chosen this uh, hammer shark because uh, my daughter's favorite animal is sharks I don't know if it's hammer shark I think it's the great white shark but uh, sharks so I choose have chosen this one the shark one and uh, the box looks very cool you can see there's a lot of um, hammer head the sharks and the splashes of uh, I guess water or waves and uh, I guess there's a lot of hammerhead sharks. Or do you say hammer sharks or hammerhead sharks? I don't know. I guess there's a lot of um, hammerhead sharks on the Galapago, Galapagos Island. Yeah. Or in the water nearby, of course. Well, let's open this box. And um, the first stuff I get in this box is the a little bag so you can carry your G-Shock in it's made of um, cotton maybe I don't know very nice it's a very nice bag and um, 
then you have the place where you put the watch in it's made of paper and the pillow or whatever you can call this is also made of paper maybe recycled paper I actually don't know I hope so so and there's a tag Bluetooth G-Shock tag it says Bluetooth on it and this is the GW B5 600 CD 1A 2ER G-Shock let's see what else is in the box there's a, a secret uh, compartment here that I can open and uh, the G-Shock International Warranty Card and there is also an instruction manual there's actually some instruction manuals I guess I don't need them right now and there's a wave scepter very important well, I actually don't well it's something about the wave scepter before using the watch after purchasing it perform these steps to per, to perform signal reception and set the current time see the user's user's guide for details well i made this easy because it's a uh, bluetooth g-shock so i um, will set the time through the app the g-shock app and that's the only uh, that's the only positive thing I, I have to say about the app for g-shocks with bluetooth it's easy to set the time so i don't use the bluetooth for anything else but setting the time so that's pretty nice that you can set the time with the bluetooth and i've done it so already so the time is very correct and uh, yeah you have probably seen this model before it's a pretty common model yes so yeah that's all in the box and uh, let's take a look at this limited edition G-Shock well we can go through the measurements uh, no we will not go through the measurements I think you already know the measurement if you have a G-Shock you know the measurement of this one if you have this uh, model and this is a pretty common model I guess everyone have at least one of these if you're into G-Shocks so um, let's not take a look at the measurement and uh, let's take a look what this G-Shock does uh, it has the Bluetooth so the Bluetooth is it's the ordinary Bluetooth it's uh, nothing out of the ordinary uh, it does not check your heart rate or anything uh, it is solar powered so um, the batteries will never run out if you don't live in a cave cave like a caveman in the wilderness and never go outside the cave and you only hunt rats so if you are a normal human being and sometimes go outside this watch will provide you with uh, a lot of battery time so this also has the multi-band 6 which uh, automatically corrects the time on the watch we are built in miniature antenna I really don't uh, understand how this works but uh, uh, yeah it's a built-in miniature antenna and it corrects the time automatically so uh, yeah you will always get the correct time the most correct time you can get with a multi-band 6 so this is good it got Bluetooth it got it's solar powered and it has the multi band 6 which corrects the time so yeah very cool futures 
and uh, unlike many other limited edition this watch isn't uh, overpriced it's only a little bit under two hundred dollars so it's a uh, it's a normal price G-Shock so uh, for a limited edition this is very nice because you know you can there are some cheap limited edition the Super Mario limited edition was cheap but it had no special features and it was also super ugly and uh, I, in my humble opinion it was a super ugly watch how can you fail making a gamer watch well I don't know uh, G-Shock done it and uh, also uh, another limited edition that I almost bought was the Adventure Stones G-Shock they were re looking very nice but but overpriced overpriced and no special features they were about like when they came out four or five hundred uh, dollars uh, yeah that's uh, out of my budget that is over my uh, g-shock budget so yeah it was very nice to to be able to buy this limited edition which looks also very cool and uh, also had some special features so well let's take a closer look at this g-shock so as you can see it's very similar to my dw w5600 uh, the rubber band is a bit different and it's uh like one half millimeter broader than the DW or maybe even one millimeter broader than the DW5600 so yeah but uh, the case is exactly the same and on the back side you can see the logo of the Charles Darwin Foundation and it also tells you information about the multi-band 6 and uh, so yeah it's a very well made G-Shock limited edition and uh, it looks like uh, an ordinary G-Shock with some nice details on it there's uh, the says it's tough solar and here on the rubber band it says apoyo la conservacion de galapagos galapago or galapagos and i think it means uh, uh, i'm for the conser cons conservation of galapagos the islands I stand for the conservation of Galapago Islands. I guess my Spanish isn't uh, the top notch. So yeah, it's a very nice looking G-Shock. And I will try it on. This is the, how it looks on the wrist. Um, well, it looks like uh, any other G-Shock of this model. Uh, yeah, yeah, and the rubber band is nice. I think it that it, it is a little bit bro broader. That's a, a good thing. Um, let's take a look how it looks in the dark. So you actually see the hammer head shark in the dark, and you, it's uh, yeah, it's a normal. G-Shock light but with the Hammerhead Shark logo so what's my verdict uh, unboxing this green watch it's very nice that you are supporting the Charles Darwin foundation of preserving the the islands of Galapagos and uh, it's also nice that this 
watch came without a plastic box it's uh, I hope recycled paper and uh, it's also very nice that you don't have to probably don't have to change battery on this watch because it's solar powered it's a nice watch to take outside you can go you can dive with this watch of course it's uh, 20 bar as any other g-shock i have this model this is my oldest g-shock and it still works fine so i guess this will work as good as this one yeah it's a very very nice limited edition i don't know why it was uh, cheap but that's good it's it was perfect for me because i needed one of this these limited edition watches and i didn't like the mario super mario limited edition and i didn't like the, i liked the adventure stones limited edition but i couldn't afford it it was out of my g-shock budget i also took a look at this uh, space program g-shock uh, limited edition from china china space program limited edition looks very cool but also too expensive so this is both nice and it it's not doesn't cost you too much it was a little bit under 200 dollars for me so uh, that's okay that's an okay price for a limited edition that is solar powered and has a multi-band six and also has the bluetooth so you can use the g-shock app application and the g-shock application it's not for anything else than just adjusting the time because the application itself looks like crap i don't know how g-shock can make such a i don't know why they haven't spent more time making a cooler app for the g-shocks maybe it will come in the future but yeah, I'm very happy with this uh, G-Shock. It was a great unboxing and I will uh, use this uh, in Mother Nature and maybe also driving to work. It's a very, very nice G-Shock limited edition with some special features. And yeah, that's all for now. So yeah, yeah, peace out. And by the way, 80 uh, subscribers, that is amazing thank you a lot i appreciate your subs so uh, yeah peace out and uh, until next time